likely to become a critical favorite anytime soon, but the group's debut album has sold half a million copies. So when Damn Yankees passed through New York City recently, opening up for another name from the past, Bad Company, we stopped by to see what, if anything, was new. And here's what we found. What do you get when legendary Axeman Ted Nugent joins forces with former Styx guitarist Tommy Shaw, ex Night Ranger bassist Jack Blades, and drummer slash thrasher Michael Cartolone? Damn Yankees is what you get. But just what is Damn Yankees? Did you notice he was coming It's good, clean fun, man. The Damn Yankees is about America, about our independent attitude. We'll play rock and roll the way we damn please. After the first time these guys played together, they didn't want to cut a record. They just wanted to hit the road. But their managers pressed the issue, and the result is a gold album. We didn't want to have to go through the process of the music business, because it's such a pain in the ass. You got to go through all that to get to where we are right now, which is where we're going on the road. What you got is what I Four members living in four different cities across the country, getting together to rehearse can be difficult. How do they manage? It's better that way because it's like, if we all hung out, it's like, yeah, we'd be ditching each other's calls and stuff, but when we say, hey, okay, for the next two weeks, we're all gonna be at Nugent, we're gonna be at Ted's World in Michigan. We all drop everything, we go there and we do one thing. It's like music camp. In October of 89, Damn Yankees was rehearsing for their upcoming tour at Jack Blade's Northern California home, when there was some seismic reaction to their music. We were playing the song Bad Reputation, and man, suddenly, like, the walls start moving, and our producer, Ron Nevis, and this guy, like, starts raising his hands, and I'm looking over at Tommy going, what? Man, you don't, you don't dig this, like, chorus or something? And man, all of a sudden, he says, stop, stop. We look around, walls are going like this, the pool is like a tidal wave, and Ted, Ted just kept soloing, he just kept playing. In the past, supergroups have tended to disintegrate from within because of ego problems. How do these guys handle it? One guy will come up with an idea, and the rest of us will... Ooh, what's he doing? You know, That's so how all the rest of us will hate that. Tommy's ideas, and then and we'll come up with the good know, stuff, like right? Ted, I mean, Tom, come on. Yeah, I always tell Jack. I always tell Jack. The good songs on the record are the ones that I wrote. Jack comes in with the piano and is going, oh, oh, darling. Tommy's still trying to convince Ted to do Babe, but I don't think it's ever going to come down. Little sister, it's a stage. She can't help it. She's coming of age. And we're just a bunch of rock and roll slammers. Just do what we got in our guts, man, in our soul, and a little south of the belt buckle, and well, we got a feel for what we do. Damn Yankees and Bad Company will be playing Cincinnati this Wednesday night. Try to catch them if you're a fan.